everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for another Studio Monday. Today I'm here with a Newton's Nook project to share with you featuring the Winston's Honeybees and also the Tag Sampler stamp sets. These are brand new from Newton's Nook Designs and I'm also going to be using them today with the Tags Times 2 Duo Tag Set. Uh, this is a die set that came out back in the winter time period and they match perfectly with the Tag Sampler stamp set. Now I'm going to start by stamping my tags onto some watercolor paper. I'm using some Hero Arts and Simon Says Stamp die inks. I don't know if many of you know this, but stamp, Simon Says Stamp and Hero Arts inks both are waterproof. So you don't have to worry about having your impressions bleed as you watercolor over top of them. I'm also going to stamp one of the sentiments onto the tag. This is some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink that I'm going to use here. I'll go ahead and stamp that down. Sorry about my head. And then I'm also going to stamp down a couple of the little images that I'm going to be using to decorate my tags. Here I've got the little honeybee hive. I'll go ahead and stamp that down on top of the watercolor paper. I'm going to start actually coloring that in right now using some distress inks. I'm using some mustard seed and fossilized amber. I'll just go ahead and apply a nice light coating of the mustard seed on top and then I'll start picking up uh, some of the fossilized amber and also some of the mustard seed together to start adding in some shading. As I darken up the shading, I'm going to go ahead and add more fossilized amber and not so much of the mustard seed. And I'll just keep adding color on top of each other until I have the honey beehive colored to the way I like. Now I've got the distress inks in worn lipstick and festive berries and I've smushed them down already onto my uh, clear block here. And I'm going to go ahead and start watercoloring in these hearts. I just mix the two colors together just to get a nice warm light red color. I'm also going to decorate my tags with some splatters. I'm using the Tim Holtz splatter brush. This is a really handy tool to be able to go ahead and pick up wet mediums and flick them onto your paper to get perfect little splatters. I'll do the same thing with some blue ink. This is some broken china and I'll do that onto the blue tags. I've made a total of four tags for this project. There are two yellow and two blue and they're both created the same way although I decorated them each a little different. Here's that blue tag. I stamped some of the little flowers that are included in the Winston's Honeybees set and I'm stamping one of the sentiments. I'm also going to bring in that little uh, bee trail that you see there that's shaped in a heart and I stamped that down onto the paper and joined it up with the bee on Be Happy. Here I've got the Distress Inks again. This is the same worn lipstick and festive berries combination. I'm going to go ahead and watercolor in these little rosebuds. Using some crushed olive, I'm going to go ahead and color in the leaves on each of these little flowers. And then I'm also going to add some grass using just some crushed olive and peeled paint. I'm just flicking up color from the top and creating some grass blades. Very simple to do and very easy. You could also draw them in with a marker or other medium. Here I've got one of the little bumblebees and I'm going to go ahead and stamp him down onto some watercolor paper. Didn't stamp that second one down well so I just went ahead and re-stamped it. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring in one of the other little honeybees and I'll stamp that down onto the paper as well. I want to have a collection of little bees here that I can use on all of my cards to decorate. I also wanted to use the little bear on one of the tags so I'm going to go ahead and watercolor him with some browns. This is some tea dye ink and I'm also going to be bringing in some gathered twigs here. I'm coloring over top of the tea dye just because I want to be able to give that gathered twigs a little bit more of a warmer tone. So I'll go ahead and cover over top of all that tea dye that I placed down and then I'll go ahead and keep blending. Now with this image I did get a little overzealous with my blending while it was still really wet. So it did end up bleeding a little bit, but I'm going to show you how I fixed that later on. So I've colored in my little bear and now I'm going to start coloring in the little honey jar here. And you can see there my Winston has a little bit of bleeding on the edges, but again, like I said, we're going to go ahead and fix that. So I'll keep adding that festive berries onto the little honey jar and then once that dried, I added some darker shading using the same festive berries and just blended that out. Alright, so here's where I'm starting to fix up my little Winston bear. So I'm going to cover over top of all of my coloring with that same gathered twigs that I used, a very light coating. And this is just going to help blend things together a little bit more. And I'm also adding a little bit darker contrast underneath the areas where they would be the darkest. Just making sure he gets some really good definition to help him have a little bit more of a three-dimensional look. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and color in the honey in his jar. Just using some mustard seed for that. And I'm also going to bring in 
a little bit of that fossilized amber to go ahead and add some darker shadows to the one side of that honey. Let's give it a little bit more dimension. All right, so now while those things are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start die cutting my tags. I got the coordinating tag die. I'm gonna go ahead and run this through my Big Shop machine and I'll go ahead and die cut all of the tags that I've created. You can see here it creates this adorable little tag and even cuts the hole in the top for you. Really, really great and I love the small, tiny size of these tags. They're really, really cute and perfect for gifts and also for green cards and all sorts of other different projects. All right, so here are all my tags. They're all die cut and partially finished. So I'm gonna play around with the placement and figure out where I wanna put everything. And once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them together. I'm popping the bear up off of one of the yellow tags using some foam tape. I'll just go ahead and place him down. And you can see here, I re-outlined the bear with a black pen and this hid the bleeding that we had along the edges perfectly. You can't even tell he had a little bit of a boo-boo. For the little flower tag, I'm gonna go ahead and just attach a little bee right over top of the word bee happy and I'll go ahead and use some foam tape to attach him down. Next, I'm creating the one with the honey beehive. I'll go ahead and pop the honey beehive off of my card using some foam tape, just get that placed down. And then for the little hearts, I'm gonna go ahead and add those down using some liquid PPA matte adhesive. I'll just put a little bit of dot of glue on the backside and then push those down into the tag. I'll also add a little string to connect my honey beehive, just to make sure it looks like it's not floating in the air. And then on this last tag, I'm gonna go ahead and put my honeybees on in a scattering. And I also added some stitching lines just to create a little bit more interest to the tag and also kind of bring in the same feel that one of the other tags had with that, with that heart trail. All right, so now we're gonna finish putting these together. I'm gonna go ahead and take some ribbon. I've cut some lengths of ribbon, different colors of yellows and reds. I've threaded one end of the ribbon through the hole and the other piece is gonna fold up and then I'm gonna tie some twine along the top just to hold everything together. You could do this however way you'd like. I'm gonna trim these ribbon ends on an angle. Sometimes I've trimmed them in V ends, sometimes just at an angle. All depends on the tag and what I felt like doing. You can see it really finished these off really cute. For the Winston one, I've tied some hemp cord around the red chevron tag a couple times and then I'm gonna go ahead and tie this into a bow. And then once I have that tied down and I've got the bow fixed to the way I want, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the ends of the ribbon into little V notches. So I'll go ahead and fold the ribbon over and then I'll go ahead and take my scissors, these are some Tim Holtz tonic scissors, and I'll just cut it at an angle and that creates a perfect V shape. Once I have that one finished, I'm gonna go ahead and show you here all of the tags all completely done. You can see how cute they are and how they really make a great set for not only just adding to cards. You could put these on cards. It's just a simple embellishment. You could put them on gift boxes, all sorts of options. And they were really, really fun to make and didn't really take that long either. So I hope you've enjoyed and got some inspiration on using the Newton's Nook Designs, Winston's Honeybees, and also the Tag Sampler stamp sets. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. And head on over to the Simon Says Stamp blog where you can get more information on this project, including still pictures and products used. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you again soon.